Hi, I'm Sam Walker. Um, I'm here, I'm just going to show you how to, well, how I play a backhand. I think the best way for me is, I hold my grip anyway in a bit of a backhand grip, um, where the blade is actually more, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's more like into my fingers instead of my thumb, so, it, so it's kind of swiveled that way instead of there. So a forehand grip would be more more that way and a backhand grip more that way. And I tend to hold my thumb up the back of my rubber when I play a backhand. And then I try and keep my bat above the table as much as I can. Um, and I'll just use a lot of my wrist and forearm to go from behind the ball and the back of the ball and just to brush up and over the front of the ball. And um, yeah, obviously to, to get more spin and speed, it's just a fast forearm and wrist. I try not to include a lot of my shoulder in in the shot because I tend I find that just kind of there's a lot more to go wrong if I include that and it's just a lot easier and more efficient to just use my wrist and forearm and a little bit of my body and my waist as well the stance position and uh, playing a backhand so yeah so you you quite uh, side on I'd, I'd say maybe your knees are a little bit too into the I don't, really, I don't know how you say it, but yeah, they're like, to, yeah, inward, yeah, you need to be a little bit more out. Not not your feet, just your knees, not so much like that. Just right. so it gives you a more of a base to, to stand on. Right. And then, yeah, after that, probably a little bit more open, okay. like open face. Yeah. And then, so you, your shoulder's there and you want to bring your wrist back and just use your forearm and your wrist to go through and over the ball. Right. And try not to use too much of your shoulder. Okay. And just, you're going brushing over the ball. So it's that way. Yeah, and then just, so try and release your wrist through the shot as you're going. Yeah, so there you, you see there you wanted to release your wrist, but you move your shoulder forward as well. So if you, if you can try and keep your shoulder still and bring your elbow closer into your body. Yeah, that's it. And then just use your wrist and your forearm and just to go through and over the ball. Just release your wrist a little bit more. So it's, I'll come around this side. So you're holding that there, and then it's just that one. So it's right. a lot from wrist and forearm. Yeah. More like that? Yeah. And then, yeah, so then obviously when you're playing as well, you need to be on your toes and just using a bit of your body to keep that momentum for moving and changing from back into forearm as well. All right, Grant. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> I actually got into it myself. I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I just think if they're inwards, it's a little bit like unstable with with moving. So if if they're a little bit more out and you're in your toes, it's yeah, just that's you've that's got a lot. Thing they told me, I used yeah. to have back at my first camp, I remember like, don't move this. Yeah. It's massive. Yeah. Bad, I'm not, I'm not the okay, alright, one more video then for